Locks, also known as dreadlocks or dreads, can be described as a style in which the hair forms rope-like strands, which is essentially strands of hair coiling around themselves in diffused units. The presence of locks can be seen in a variety of ancient cultures worldwide, from Ethiopia to Israel and even Egypt. In fact, this style actually has very strong ties in religions such as Christianity and Hinduism. In India, some of the earliest historical reference of locks comes from 1800 BCE with ties to the Hindu religion. One of the more popular historical records of the wearing of locks can be credited to the priests of the Ethiopian Copic religion who were said to be wearing this style around 500 BCE. A multiplicity of evidence can also be observed in the history of ancient Kemet, with remnants of innumerable sculptures and statues, and also remains of mummified bodies with locks still intact. In the ancient biblical Israelite culture, reference to this style can be seen in several verses in the Tanakh, including Songs of Solomon 5.11, Ezekiel 8.3, Judges 16.13, Numbers 6.5, and the list goes on. Throughout the motherland, this style can be seen being worn with grace and confidence in many tribes. Today, locks can be seen worn by both men and women, young and old, internationally. This video, however, seeks to zoom into the wearing of locks by women and men of African descent within Africa and the diaspora. Individuals of African descent have a wide range of hair textures. Hair, however, that naturally grows outward in thick curls or coils is usually associated with being black. And as such, textures can be transformed into a variety of styles one of which includes locks. Discrimination based on hairstyles closely associated with individuals of African descent have been evident and too common throughout our history. In fact, many schools, banks, and other organizations have banned the wearing of certain hairstyles, specifically due to its correlation with the African culture. An article written by Green in 2017 entitled Splitting Hair documents that black people have been subjected to dignitary, psychological, physiological, and financial discrimination based on their hair. There are many examples of this reported, but I'll just highlight a few. According to the Office of the Attorney General in the state of New Jersey Division of Civil Rights, the U.S. Army banned locks, referring to them as matted and unkept, and in 2017, placed an outright ban on locks and the cornrows. Some portions of this policy was revisited after complaints that it was racially biased, and finally, in 2017, the Army re retracted its prohibition on female soldiers wearing locks altogether. Another example is of an incident that occurred in 2018 when a six-year-old child was allegedly forced to forego a scholarship at a private school because the school would not permit the wearing of locks, leaning into the stereotype that this hairstyle is unprofessional and unkept. Change is slowly taking place worldwide to eliminate biases connected with the way a black person chooses to wear their hair. Although this was the atmosphere surrounding those who wore locks, Clearly, it did not eliminate itself from being practiced and worn proudly. In fact, just as it was in the days of old, some people today wear locks embedded with great spiritual symbolism and conviction. According to an online blog named Dr. Locks, Eastern and Western spiritualism believes that spiritual energies leave the body through the head and hair, and if the hair is locked, it will keep the energy from exiting the body, which will result in retaining more physical strength and spiritual energy. Interestingly enough, the general concept of this idea has parallels with the story of Samson in the Bible. It's no secret that locks is definitely a style that is beautiful and captivating, and we know that black hair is extremely versatile, so there are definitely different ways in which locks are created. 
On the two ends of the spectrum, we have locks that are free-formed and manicured locks. Free-form locks are formed by allowing the hair to naturally separate and form coils, which eventually become ropes of knots. This process requires little to no maintenance, it is inexpensive, and it is said to aid in confidence building and self-acceptance. A few discomforts about this style that were reported includes the fact that there is little to no control over the general outlook or the general end result of the style as well as the locking process. It takes longer to completely lock up and the fact that many individuals are now unable to wear the hats that they are usually um, comfortable wearing. And last but not least, this style is usually deemed as the most unprofessional type of lock in many workplaces and institutions. Manicured locks, on the other hand, is formed by manual manipulation, such as twisting, braiding, or interlocking. With this type of lock, it is easier to maintain control and there is more flexibility when styling. Style, however, also has a few discomforts that were reported, which includes the fact that it requires retwisting, more overall maintenance is necessary, it tends to lead to thinner edges and locks, there is also a very high potential of the locks falling out in the mature stages, and you're also required to purchase locking supplies. For some individuals, their only knowledge of or association with locks is connected with the Jamaicans, the Rastafarian religion, and reggae music. Along with a very sustainable and environmentally friendly lifestyle, a custom of the Rastafarians is to abstain from cutting their hair in line with Leviticus 21 verse 5, which states that you should not make any baldness on thy head. With artists such as the Marleys, Chronics, and others who are popular on the international stage, it is no wonder that Jamaica is one of the first places that you may think of when locks come to mind. Locks are beautiful, and without a shadow of a doubt, I can say that this style seems like it will remain a staple within the black community for centuries to come. Tell me what you think down in the comment section below about this video. Do you have locks? Do you like this style? And are you planning to get your hair interlocked? Don't be shy. Be sure to share your stories down in the comment section below. And do you know of any other interesting facts that we may have missed in this video? If you enjoyed this video and you are interested in seeing similar content, be sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell. But most importantly, stay blessed.